Hey, by the way, the world did not end yesterday. <laughs> I had actually spoken up publicly about this and dealt with it on my blog and my Facebook page saying the end of the world was not Saturday. You know, I was amazed at how people believed it though. And people thanked me for saying something about it. One person said, my daughter, age 15, was terrified, you know. And, and so this got a lot of press, uh, this prediction, if you don't know what I'm talking about, by Harold Camping, that the rapture and the end of the world were happening last Saturday, yesterday, basically. And uh, how did I know he was wrong? Because the Bible said it. That's how. Very simple. Jesus says in Matthew 24, 36, concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. But because of the misguided notions of camping, I'm sure there's some disillusioned people out there right now. People that did not carefully study the scripture, and the atheists have had a field day with this, haven't they? A laughing at the whole idea wanting to lump us all together, like we all believe that when we don't. But they're making a big mistake when they make a joke out of the return of the Lord, because guess what? Jesus is coming, that's for sure. That's not changed. <laughs> I believe he's coming very soon, but we don't know the day or the hour. And uh, the Bible even tells us in the last days scoffers would come scoffing and following their own desires, saying, hey, where is the prom promise that he's, he's coming? Where is he? Uh, all things continue on as they have from the beginning. Right, but God is a timetable, and he's always on schedule. And the Lord is not late, as some men count lateness, the Bible says, but he is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So we believe the Lord is coming.